Hi, I'm Billy Pittard. Welcome to FYI for your inspiration. I'm really glad to be here and I'm really glad you're watching. You know, there are a few things that are more fun and exciting than getting together with a group of talented people and to do something really creative. And yet, it's not all fun and games. Creative collaboration is also a very important business process. But why is it that when you visit some businesses, they kind of exude creativity and others maybe like have a cloud of creative despair about them? Well, I believe it's all about how people work together. And that's what I'm going to talk about. I have worked on literally thousands of creative projects with some of the most talented creative people that you could ever hope to meet. And I've learned a thing or two, and I'm going to share that with you. So we're going to learn how to be more creative and how to work with others to get the best creative results. This is going to be a multi-part series, so keep checking back. Let's get started. This is the first in a series about creative collaboration. When a group of people work together on a project, it's important that everybody know what the target is. You need to literally get on the same page. A good way to do that is with a written creative brief. A good creative brief is going to be specific enough that you know what success looks like, but it's also broad enough where there's room for interpretation, where you can really be creative and, and hopefully innovative. It's really like the DNA of the project. And of course, you want to get that DNA right because we've all seen when DNA is flawed, you know, tragic results can happen. F same is true with a creative brief. Projects can be done without a creative brief, but they're not going to be very efficient. People are going to kind of do more what they want to do than what the project really needs. It's just going to meander. If you have a good brief, you can use that to actually evaluate all the progressive work that's done and, of course, evaluate the end product as well. Um, it will help you, it will also help you know the difference between activity and progress because, you know, you get on a project, everybody's really busy, they look really busy, but if you use that creative brief to measure what they're doing, you can tell, are we moving toward getting this completed in the right way? So that's a really great value. Read my blog. There's a lot more detail in a, about creative collaboration and creative briefs in particular in there. Watch here for more. There's going to be more future installments. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think and enjoy.